Bobby Durkins here. Thanks so much for joining me for my sneak peek. It's not a sneak peek. It's just there. Uh, into the Ohio State Buckeyes. Before I go any farther, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications. I do appreciate it. We look into the annals of college football. There's one thing that comes crawling out of it. That, in my opinion, there's only a few teams who really, really up for the national championship this year. Of course, you know them. We know those boys down in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. And then we got the Ohio State Buckeyes. Those are really the three teams who's up for it. Oklahoma's a joke. Uh, the Pac-12, we don't even know if they're going to be playing football. I don't think we're missing much. Um, I mean, my goodness. But when you talk about these teams and you talk about the upcoming College football, see, you got to talk about the Ohio State Buckeyes. you got to talk about how they do have a lot of talent. Uh, the past season, made it to the college football playoff. You end up getting knocked out by the first round by a team I've kind of heard of before. Uh, but the thing is, you, 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 were, you were just killing it last year. Here's the problem. Now, I know everybody's high on Ohio State. I get it. I get you recruiting. I get you players who are coming back. I get to players who they were not starters, but they were there, they're talented. Y'all recruit, you're Ohio State. But the problem that I'm seeing, and I did not realize that y'all had a mass exodus, um, is that you lost a lot. It would be easier for me to tell you who's coming back than who you lost. Take way too much time. Um, you only have three starters coming back on the defense. Borland, Werner, Wade. Back. Gone. Among that mass exodus on the defense, uh, Chase Young and Jeff Akuda. Ever heard of them? I think you have. They're gone. On the offense, you have more coming back, but, but you got... Your running back is gone. Dobbins, he's gone. At Master Teague, the 14th, he, he's back, but he's hurt. So it looks like that Oklahoma kid, Trey Sermon, is going to be playing for you. But obviously, Justin Fields. you got Justin Fields. So let's talk about this coming season. Let's look into what you're doing. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, for some of y'all who's going, Yeah, they were the preview of the team. Listen to me. I, that, that ain't my channel. I'm not going to sit here and talk to you about the A gap and the B gap and the butthole gap and the Z gap and everything. That's, that's another channel. I just get straight to the point. Uh, your schedule is in favor of you, Okay. I get it. Uh, Bowling Green at Oregon. That might might not even play that game. Uh, Buffalo, Rutgers, Iowa, Michigan State, Penn State, Nebraska, Indiana, Maryland, Illinois, and then y'all's annual go up and play Michigan and embarrass them. Pull their blamers over the head and kick them in the rump, and they roll out to the floor, and everybody starts laughing. You're going to do that. I, you know, of course, Penn State game is going to be an eyebrow raiser. You know, will they come in and contend with you? Uh... Michigan State, they've just given up. I don't see a team on there that you just can't come in and beat by two touchdowns. They're not a team on there. Um, Oregon, as I said, I don't think that they're going to play. I just have this weird suspicion they're not going to play. Probably wrong, but who cares. Um, so what's going to be the key for o Ohio State this year? Well, first of all, Justin Fields staying healthy. You got the majority of you of you offensive line coming back. Three out of five of them starters coming back. The key is, will he stay healthy? That's, that's a question. Will he stay healthy? Um, I know I am going to take major flack for this, but I really don't care. Uh, I saw him get hit last year. And I made this comment, a bunch of people was coming out of woodwork going, you an idiot, and get it, get it. And that's fine, that's fine. I have friends who actually play football, and they talk about how you have to learn how to take a hit. Now, I know he's super athlete, and I know he's got the abilities, and I know he's talented, but I am telling you, he would see hits coming, and it would be from, and you say, which game? Wisconsin game. He knew that corner back was going to hit him. He got out into open space, hit him, and he starts rolling around. A little later on in the season, 
Same thing. He sees us coming. He starts rolling around again. Oh, I'm hurt. Uh, that that makes me wonder. Makes me wonder about how is he ready to take a hit. That's that's one thing. Um, other than that, I just think your schedule is just playing in your favor so much that you can, you know, if you're having to run Trey Sermon, you can do it. I mean, you got uh, Chris Olave back. You know, y'all can throw the ball to him. I know, you know, you got Julian Fleming, one of the most highly recruited wide receivers in all the country, one of the most recruited players in the country. Uh, he's he's going to be playing for you. You've got the weapons. You've got the ability to run over teams like Iowa. I mean, you can beat Iowa. You can beat Iowa. If they beat you, there's a problem. I, I'm, I'm not saying that they're just a pushover, but y'all's talent versus their talent, I'm sorry, shouldn't even be a, be a conversation. It's... It, I'm just telling you, there is no reason why you should lose one ball game this year. You should win your conference. You should go in there and just thump everybody in the head. Get out of my way, Maryland. Bye-bye, Illinois. Good luck to you, Nebraska. Go, go shuck some corn or whatever the crap your names are. And you make it back to the college football playoff. To contend for the national championship. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it, okay? There's really no no guessing. I don't have to break down one game plan. All I have to do is look at your schedule. The only thing is, will your defense be exposed in the college football playoff? And I believe, yes. Why do you believe they don't think it's funny and stupid and everything? Remember when we beat y'all? We were told that we hadn't seen a team like y'all. I mean, it, it, it is out of the question. And, uh, no, we beat you. Beat you. What about that play? What about a bunch of plays on y'all's end? I mean, my God, beat you. And I just don't think that your defense is going to be up up to the task of winning, winning the college football playoff. I, I just don't think so. Your offense... Fields is, is talented enough to where he can come out there, uh, come out there and do his thing. And you got Olave and stuff. You got some, as I've always said, already said some players out there. I just don't think your defense has got it. I know in the season they're going to run ev or run over everybody, and somebody's going to come back to this video sometime in November and go, "Boy, well, that shows you what a redneck piece of trash he is." Might be a redneck piece of trash. You let the college football playoffs roll around and see what happens. That's where you're going to lose, and it's going to be because of your defense. Well. I'm Bobby Durkins. Thank you so much for joining me. Hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications. Tell uh, tell everybody I said May there to them. I'm Bobby Durkins, you keep showing up. I'll keep showing out. Bobby, I can.